folks are starting to prepare for how the pandemic could affect voting. So counties across Georgia are trying to make sure poll workers have what they need, and that includes protective equipment. GEMA is sending 180,000 masks, 46,000 face shields, and close to 5,000 packs of gloves out. Mike Kaplan with the Bibb County Board of Elections says they did have problems getting poll workers in June due to the pandemic, but he hopes having all this equipment will make people feel safe enough to want to work in the polls. Kaplan says they should find out soon just how much of that equipment from GEMA will come to Bibb County. Due to the COVID-19 crisis, a lot of Georgians may choose to vote by mail this fall. Any registered voter in Georgia does have the option to vote absentee. Brianna Richardson spoke with the statewide voting implementation manager to learn more about how the process works and what they're doing to try and make voting a little smoother. Starting next week, rather than having to fill out an absentee ballot application and mailing or emailing it back, Georgia voters can now apply online. Now let's walk through the absentee voting process. First, make sure you're registered to vote no later than October 5th. Next, fill out and submit an absentee ballot application. With the new online portal, all you'll need is five pieces of info. Go online and just put in their first name, their last name, their date of birth, the driver's license or ID number, and their county, and they can get through and identify as the voter and request their ballot, and then the county can then accept it and then mail the ballot immediately. So there's no mailing, there's no paper, there's no signature, none of that stuff. Gabriel Sterling of the Secretary of State's office says you should request an absentee ballot as soon as possible. You're allowed to request them up to 180 days ahead of time. We are now at day 69 before the election, so go ahead and request it. When you receive it, don't put it on the kitchen table to the side. Fill it out and get it back to the county as soon as you can. Once you fill out your ballot, you can mail it in or drop it off at one of your county's drop box locations. We're doing everything we can to make them safe, but if we can spread the voting out and get more of it done before election day, that's gonna make life a lot easier for you, your neighbors, and for your elections workers and poll workers. Behind me at the Houston County Government Building, this is just one of the locations where people in Houston County can drop off their absentee ballots. Now the other location will be at 200 Carl Vincent Parkway at the Annex Courthouse. In Perry, Brianna Richardson, 13 WMAZ News. Absentee ballots will be sent to Georgia voters beginning in September. You can verify that your ballot was accepted by visiting Georgia's My Voter page. We can link you to that. Just look for the story at 13WMAZ.com.